Yeah, I'll be there in a second. Okay, hey, I'm on. <laughs> okay, hey, it's Richard Blackstone, and I'm here today with today's Create One Love Note. Uh, go to createonelove.com, check it out. You're going to like it. And what we do is uh, we're, we're putting our love notes into video form, and so I'm going to uh, read the love note to you, and then we'll talk about it, because this kind of gives us a little time to interact with you and uh, explain the love note a little more depth. Okay, so today's love note says, The most enduring thing that Elvis <laughs> was... Oh, the most enduring thing about Elvis was his consistent gratitude. Remember how he used that cute saying of, Thank you all. Thank you very much. Uh, I love it. I, I use it all the time. Now, the other real cool thing about Elvis was that he always did what came naturally to him. He always stayed true to his nature and natural rhythm. You know, I <laughs> remember. He always had that fantastic voice. No matter, he is, <laughs> no wonder he's still the king. Thank you. Thank you very much, Elvis. Oh, wow. Do you, do you feel a presence with you right now? Do you feel Elvis kind of going, hey, thanks, man? You know, because Elvis was full of gratitude. Uh, you know the, you know how... Uh, people become these endearing icons is because they have something special and it's uh, rarely uh, something that is negative and spiteful uh, when somebody really is enduring it, it, it's love it's always love this this projection of love comes through that person and you feel it as um, as you interact with that person, whether, you know, as a singer, entertainer, actor, politician, um, poet, writer, it doesn't matter. The thing that always shines through is this love of service to humanity. And that's what Elvis had. Um, he just had this natural love that uh, permeated everything he did. And I, I swear, you know, um, I am a big Elvis fan. Um, and, and the reason is, is because he, he was natural. He was pure. He didn't. He wasn't pretentious. He was Elvis, and he was a kind of a shy guy. But he was a fantastic performer, and and um, I just respect him so much for being who he was all the time. And that's what uh, you know. When you do that, people gravitate to you because they want to be around people who are really authentic, who are themselves, and who project love. <laughs> what more can I say? Love is always the answer, folks. Um, no matter what question you have, no matter what predicament you have in life, if you use love to answer the questions, to solve the predicaments, then uh, your life will smooth out and change in wondrous ways. And in fact, if you shift your paradigm of life out of fear and separation and into love and oneness, you'll see your world just transform right before your eyes. That, uh, I'm telling you this because this is my experience. Uh, I did it. I shifted my whole paradigm of life uh, from fear to love. And even though I live in the same physical world, my perspective of this world is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I love everything. I love you. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm here to help. <laughs> I'm here to serve, you know, and because that's what life is about is service and love. That's it. And so the more you fall into that, uh, the more your your life is just going to um, be on a rocket ship upward. And so that's what we do. We help people with products and services. Today we're, we've got a real cool product. It's called uh, Blueprint for Manifesting System. Uh, ebook is the three foundation pillars, which you really must have. These have these foundational pillars in your life so that you can um, create your life consciously from that foundation. Just go to getblueprintformanifesting.com and it's free. Download them. Get both the get the audio because it's really cool. <laughs> I like the audio. Okay, that's it for today. And uh, so, as I recommend at all times, <laughs> go out and live in love. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.